I didn't try to do this, it sort of just happened to me. I came across a, uh, a venue, if you will, it was a very, it was a cool, like, uh, hip kind of place in the North Shore called The Vibe. And uh, I actually walked up to the owner after eating there and said, you know, the music is really cool here and the place, the energy is cool, but like the art doesn't match, you know. About three months later, she checked out some portrait work that I do. She bought a couple of pieces and I asked her if I could uh, do a show at her space. And she said, sure. Somebody put us in this building which is the old Hammond Oreo manufacturing plant. And we didn't know it coming in. We didn't know it until we were in here already. Once we got here, it became the black couch. It has to do with our black futon and having no money. And I had like a hundred bucks left or something. And I had to negotiate for a black futon. And black couch sounded better than black futon, so. <laughs> What you just witnessed in there, that kind of laurel and hearty effort at getting that screen up is because we work with minimal tools, minimal supplies, and most things we get are donated to us. Um, you actually just left the uh, current venue at the couch where we are at right now, right this minute, whatever day it is today. And then where we're taking you is to where the gallery side of it is, but this will all be won by May 1st, so right now it's separate. Come on, we we'll meet down this hallway. This building you're in is the old Hammond Organ Manufacturing Plant. It's one city block big, uh, like two and a half levels, and uh, there's multi-cultural uh, artists, craftsmen, uh, musicians in this building sharing the space. Um, where the black couch is at doing, uh, doing all of the good things we're doing here in Hermosa Park. We're actually coming up to the back side of this newer space. We started out on the east side of the building. New owners came in, just moved us to the west, oh, I'm sorry, we were on the west side of the building, just moved us to the east side. So um, at the back side of the space, but we're gonna go through the front. I'll take you out to the lobby of this building. We're, we are on uh, at 4200 West of Versi in Chicago, basically Versi and Trip, just west of Pulaski. This is the main lobby of the building as it stood, I don't know, 30, 40, in the 40s and 50s. This is the old Hammond organ manufacturing plant. They made music and clocks out of here. So, in fact, that safe has been here as long as the building has been here. There's another one upstairs and uh, they're leaving a lot of this beautiful architecture. We're gonna go in this space now. So you can come on in. That's Susie over there in the office. <laughs> That's the uh, new kitchen. kitchen. It's a, the old vault. It's an old vault. You can see the, where it locked. It actually stored ivory in here and things like that. I wake up every single day. I paint or draw or show what I know to someone, I don't hold back. I will show them everything I have suffered through and experimented with and why every bone in my body aches. Why my Susie has to like literally every single night help me get to sleep, you know, because I'm in so much pain. And I can't wait, I can't even sleep, I can't, I can't, uh, we have to create, we have to keep doing this because we're, we have this momentum right now. When we stop charging the artist, they come here. If an artist shows here, they look at their work, you know, only because we want it to be clean, we want to care about it, we meet the artist, we try to fit in with other artists, and we put their artwork up. We tell them how to pay attention to people that are looking at it. We tell them how to not be drinking and drugging around those nights, to be celebrating about their achievements and their accomplishments and their productivity and their focus and their energies, you know, and that's the high, you know. And so, and then if they sell something, you give them all the money. With fundraising, it's using my art. I mean, I, we asked if they, if we asked them if you would like to, you can donate it. 
100% of the time they do, <laughs> okay? And we give them some of the money too, but we didn't sell it to the organization. But my art, we give it all to the organization. The only way I eat is if I physically sell a piece of my artwork. My artwork's raising upwards of five and ten thousand dollars at auction, which for me, I mean, it's like, I can't even believe that, you know? I mean, why would someone want, to want my artwork so bad, you know? Like, holy shite, you know? And they're giving me thoughts and they're telling me what they're doing that's good. And I compile these images and however I put them out there, you know, um, people are paying money for it. So I'm like, why don't we do that ourselves? Why do I wait for someone else to ask me to do it? I have a responsibility now. And if I don't know what the message should be, I gotta hang out with people who seem to have good shit going on, good ways, which is younger people. So I've risked everything by opening my doors to hip hop, rap, all this you know, weed smoking and shit that goes on. It's like, who cares if people smoke weed? I smoke weed. Who cares if people have a little bit of alcohol? At the very least, I need to help understand how to behave so they can continue to get their messages out and people have new spaces to do it, you know? We were teaching these artists how to create awareness with their art help others with it. I'm not focused about being this famous artist. Just use your God-given talent for us. Why are we, they're giving us their, this money, but we're delivering their, these messages that aren't what we want. We have the value. We have the value. We need to be paid attention to. The most important thing about the couch is really, really, really this is where we come together to hone in on our skills and our craft and our God-given talents. And then where we come together and we decide how can we create awareness with it and what are we creating awareness about. And that's really what it is. And, and we do that through art, music, and strengthening every way we know how how, along with those things I just mentioned, to make community strong.